I'd say that's a pretty good egg to find mm -hmm. if you could. I like it, right? You have to get underwater to get it, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if many people went underwater here right. in the Chiat. I mean, it was warm, but I don't know about that. One. Yeah, I don't know if the lakes are quite warm enough yet, yeah. but we're getting there, right? We've got some warm days for sure. Temperatures in the 80s over the next couple of days as well. You take a look at Blue's Lake and you'll see some boats out on the water, Kara, but I don't necessarily see anybody jumping in. Not yet, maybe, but you got some breezes across the area and the breezes will stay up as we head into the next several days. So keep that in mind. Temperatures are also going to stay up. Our high this afternoon was 81 degrees. Nope, not record setting. That's 91 for the date, but definitely warmer than our normal, which is in the mid 60s. 84 for a high in Burlington. We're 79 in Mount Airy, 82 in March. Martinsville. We've got uh, some warm days ahead with temperatures in the low 80s on Monday and Tuesday as well. Records are still pretty close to 90. Now it's warm on the front end, but look what happens once this front moves through Wednesday. High temperatures are only in the 50s for Thursday and Friday. Now if we do look ahead at April, May and June, though, it does look like we're anticipating warmer than normal temperatures across most of the nation. Also expecting wetter than normal conditions to continue across the deep south. And we have had our share of wet weather as of late. Now over the weekend, it was nice and dry. We kept most of the showers and thunderstorms a little farther to the north and that's where they're going to stay for tonight. They do see a little bit of severe weather threat across parts of Illinois as well as Indiana and they do have a couple warnings right now right along that stalled out front. Now our weather story is clouds first and then an opportunity for some wet weather. Tomorrow the storm threat will stay mainly to our north again maybe dipping down into some of our northeastern Piedmont Triad communities for a rumble of thunder by late tomorrow night. But I do think most of Monday is going to be dry for most everyone. It's going to be warm too. We will have more clouds out there tomorrow than we saw today. So it's partly sunny to mostly cloudy temperatures in the 70s by lunchtime and then in the low 80s by late afternoon. And then you see some of those showers and thunderstorms just to our north and east. I did put in just a real small chance that we could see a shower or a thunderstorm again. That's for the far northern communities for tomorrow afternoon evening, I should say, high temperature of 82. We're going to look for highs to be in the low 80s in the foothills. We do have considerable cloudiness around tomorrow. Breezes are also up out of the west, so windy day for you. High temperature 74 in the mountains. With the winds out there, of course, we have to worry about that pollen being blown around quite a bit, and we do have some high tree pollen counts and medium counts for grasses already this season. Lots of cloud cover here. This is what's coming first, and then a more organized weather system is going to move east and into our area. Most of it happening Tuesday night, but by Tuesday afternoon, we could see at least a few showers and thunderstorms kind of pushing into the area. By Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning, that's when we see most of the showers and storms coming through. There is a small chance that we could have isolated severe weather across our westernmost communities for Tuesday. And again, I do have that chance of showers and thunderstorms in for late on Tuesday and then some lingering showers on Wednesday. Much cooler air in here. Highs are only in the 50s toward the end of the week and we are back in the 30s in the morning.